Hi, Peter Johns here. In this video, I will demonstrate how to diagnose and treat horizontal canal BPBV, also sometimes called lateral canal BPBV. You will see the typical presentation of geotropic horizontal canal BPBV using real patient video. As well, I'll demonstrate how to perform the supine roll test, the barbecue roll, and the Gafani maneuver. And finally, apogeotropic horizontal canal BPBV will be briefly discussed. The most common type of BPBV is posterior canal BPBV. If you are not familiar with how to diagnose or treat this condition with the Dix Hall Pike and Epley maneuvers, I suggest you watch the other videos on this channel first before attempting to learn about horizontal canal BPBV, which is less common and somewhat more difficult to diagnose and treat. If you're comfortable diagnosing and treating the more common posterior canal BPBV, but you see the occasional patient with symptoms sounding very much like BPBV and in whom the Dix Hall Pike test is negative or atypical, then this video might just help you and your patients. This is a model of the right inner ear bony labyrinth. We are looking at it from the right hand side and my hand is indicating the anterior part of the imaginary head. Here I am indicating the anterior canal. And this is the posterior canal. And the canal in question today, the horizontal canal. This is the utricle where the autoliths normally reside. If the autoliths end up in the posterior arm of the horizontal canal, then the patient will present with geotropic horizontal canal BPPV. Less commonly, if the autoliths end up in the anterior arm of the horizontal canal, the patient will present with apogeotropic horizontal canal BPPV. In geotropic nystagmus, the fast component will be towards the earth or the downward ear. One side usually produces a more intense nystagmus. The downward ear on the side where the nystagmus is more intense is considered to be the affected ear. So here is a typical case of geotropic horizontal canal BPPV. This older lady for the past few days has experienced bouts of dizziness lasting around 30 seconds when she rolls over in bed or even turning her head quickly while she's standing. As with all types of BPPV, she did not have any spontaneous nystagmus when she was examined, and her bouts of vertigo were brief, approximately 30 seconds. Since her Dix Hall Pike was negative, we decided to go ahead with the supine roll test. The supine roll test, also known as the Pagnini McClure maneuver, is used to determine if a patient is suffering from horizontal canal BPPV. Once the patient is brought from the sitting to the supine position, the head is then turned to the right and you observe for nystagmus and the direction of the nystagmus. The head is then brought back to the neutral position and then turned to the left, again examining for nystagmus and the direction. With her head turned to the right, our patient experienced mild vertigo and lateral nystagmus with the fast component towards the downward ear or geotropic nystagmus. The episode, as you can see, was very brief. Here it is in slow motion. Okay, now turn it to the yeah, middle. Oh, he, oh yeah, he's Move her right uh, to the uh, right left side. Yeah, to the left side. With her head turned to the left, she you develops a more yeah. intense yeah. lateral nystagmus with again yeah. the fast component towards the downward yeah. ear or geotropic nystagmus. So our diagnosis was left ear geotropic okay, horizontal canal yeah. BPPV. It's going away now. Good. Again, a slow motion video of the same nystagmus. So the first procedure we attempted 
was the barbecue roll or lempered roll maneuver for left ear geotropic horizontal canal PPDV. This maneuver starts with the patient with their head turned to the affected side. The head is then turned 90 degrees stepwise fashion, holding each position for the duration of the nystagmus plus about 30 seconds. The patient is then sat up. All right. Oh, boy. Obviously, oh, she did not have yeah. a good result. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. We, uh, <laughs> glad I'm not in a horse. I'll be falling off. Oh, there, it stopped. We tried to perform a second barbecue roll, which had the same result, no improvement. So we went on to perform the Gufani maneuver for a geotropic horizontal canal BPBV. This maneuver starts with the patient seated, and then they are quickly moved to lie on their unaffected side. After two minutes, the head is turned 45 degrees towards the ground, and kept in this position for another two minutes. The patient is then sat up. This is this is after we did that second oops, thing to Gafani. Why don't you hold her head there? Whoops. Open your eyes here. I'm going to open your eyes. Oh, I'm going She's around the some, circles. Uh, after the Gafani maneuver, we tried to perform a supine roll test again, and were somewhat surprised with what we observed when she lay straight back. Upward beating the stagmus with a torsional component towards the left ear. After a few moments, we realized that we had converted her to a posterior canal PPBV. That is, the autolith had moved from the horizontal canal to the posterior canal, obviously in the left ear. So we simply performed an Epley maneuver to treat a left ear posterior canal PPBV. Is that for two Lembert's maneuvers, oh. a Gaffani maneuver and an Epley maneuver? Ooh. Let's see. All right. Okay. Yep. One, two, three. Down you go. Oh. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Not so much. Yeah. Open your eyes. You have to be just forty-five. Yeah. That's forty-five. is more like that. A lot better, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have anything now. I think we finally got. I think we finally stopped torturing you. Mm. Good. <laughs> And so finally, she was cured of her dizziness. I did happen to see her several weeks later, and she reported that she had no further episodes of dizzy spells. Those watching the video might wonder, what if the affected ear was in fact the right ear? If you're familiar with the posterior canal BPBV and the Dex Hall Pike and Epley maneuvers, you'll appreciate that if the findings indicated a right ear geotropic or an horizontal canal BPBV, rather than the, a left one, as in this case, then the barbecue roll and the Gufani maneuvers would be mirror images of the ones demonstrated. Finally, I'll address apogeotropic horizontal canal BPBV. There are some important differences in this type, and it can be confusing at times. Luckily, apogeotropic horizontal canal BPBV is less common than geotropic horizontal canal BPBV, which is again less common than posterior canal BPBV. So when you do a supine roll test in some, someone with apogeotropic horizontal canal BPBV, you'll see nystagmus which is beating away from the earth towards the upward ear. Now contrary to geotropic horizontal canal BPBV, the affected ear is considered to be the side where the nystagmus is less intense. The treatment for apogeotropic horizontal canal BPBV is a slightly different Gafani maneuver. For this maneuver, the patient is quickly made to lie down on the affected side. After one minute, 
the head is quickly turned 45 degrees upward. After two minutes, the patient is brought back to the sitting position. I'd like to give a special thank you to Dr. Stella Yu for participating in the demonstration of the maneuvers. And of course, a special thanks to our very patient patient.